What's going on, vlog? So a lot's been going down since we last spoke. Um, selling the e-commerce business that I started. You know, I figured I wasn't gonna put enough time into it, so I've got it up for sale. Finally getting some posts up to get some team members. Once some team members can start coming in, I'm gonna really start selling next week because the business cards are on the way. The first time I got business cards, they were about 10 bucks. I, for the life of me, couldn't find the site that I bought them through. So I just did Vistaprint because it was a Black Friday deal. So it cost me 30 bucks for 500 because I'm not only going to be giving those to business people, but you know, when you run into someone who has student debt, I can give them the business card and say, hey, Here's the website if you want to make some extra cash. I'm actually off of work all week, so you know what I'll be doing? Selling. Today's a big day for me. Finally, after about a month of waiting, I've received the official paperwork for the LLC. The packet from LegalZoom comes with a lot of info, basically, um, logging into your account, uh, stuff to be aware of, it's the articles of organization, the operation agreement, I have to sign some stuff, um, a guide to your li limited liability company, some stock certificates, and then um, a letter for people managing the LLC to set up a bank account. But they're waiting on this for like a month. It took a bit longer because I called and they said my registered agent uh, wasn't in good standing. So anytime you start a, a business that's an LLC, you have to have a registered agent or someone, usually a lawyer, that uh, can accept legal documents on your behalf so that it acts as you being served. So if someone wants to serve you basically uh, legal documentation, they can give it to your registered agent and, and that counts as you being served instead of you doing some you know, shady shit uh, as a business owner and then you just feel like disappearing and they can't find you and that and you can't be served. So I had to call and get that fixed and it took it an extra two weeks uh, until my paperwork got here, but it's official. Now, ready to make some more moves for the back office. I'm super excited to start selling because I will learn how to sell a bit better, how to overcome, you know, the hindrances when, you know, they don't want to buy the product. As your reputation grows and the more appeal and the more ground you are covering online, the more opportunities are going to come your way. So what's a quote that someone told me that's resonated with me until now? Um. I'd say that uh, the CEO of the market research firm that I worked for in Louisville was sitting with me at, at a boardroom table. It was just me and him. And he asked me, he said, do you know what the number one reason businesses fail is? And I said, uh, I said, yeah, cash flow. <laughs> and he said, no. He said, the number one reason businesses fail are because the CEO dies. I was like, is that true? I don't ever think that I came to a conclusion on that. But that's a very good point. And I think that resonates even more now because we're going through the biggest shift in wealth in the history of mankind. With all the baby boomers passing, you know, living through such a great era where wealth was created, especially through the stock market and new businesses being created you know, after the World War especially now with baby boomer CEOs, presidents, founders, especially of small businesses or big businesses passing, that that's going to be a, a huge piece of what's going on right now. So I think that may be fairly true. I don't know if I believe that or not, but granted there's another quote that the CEO told me that has always stuck with me too. We were sitting at the same damn table and he goes, you know what do you want to do with your life, Zach? You know what, what inspires you? Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? And I told him, I want to own a business and run a business. And he was dead serious when he said that, I don't think you will ever run a business because you don't love money enough. That has stuck with me every day from the time that he told me that. In my eyes, I'm already successful because I've already taken that step 
I'm already proving that the concepts work with clients and getting teammates on board. I don't think to be successful as a leader or CEO of a company, you have to love money. I almost think it's the opposite. I think you need to love people. I think you need empathy to understand that it's the people of your organization that make or break it. And it's the customers or clients that you have that make or break it. It has nothing to do with money. I don't think it has anything to do with loving or hating money. I think you need to understand money. But whether or not you love or hate it has nothing to do with whether you're going to be successful or not. The time to start is now. But the more you present yourself into the world, the more opportunity I think you have. If someone wants to know something about me, they can go to YouTube, they can go to LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram.